ventricle, atrium, conus arteriosus. It's like, it's so the probe is through. It's like that's the hepatic the sinus right there. That's what he's saying. Yeah, that's what it's in. No, that's yeah. what it's so in. So it's just a hole through the top of the liver. There. This is the liver. Mm -hmm. So it's coming down from the liver. So it's like right, like I guess. What would you call that part of the liver? Like the entry point to the liver? Or like Anterior aspect, cranial part, something like that. It's, it looks like it's dorsal to the liver, too. It is, yeah. So that's coming out of the liver and into this common sinus. And then this feels like it goes up into sinus venosus. Oh, I just had it and I lost it. There it is. So there's the sinus. And then I have the ventricle and the atrium. Yeah, so there's atrium on each side, the ventricle, and then the conus arteriosus. Okay. Yeah, is it this or is it this? Mm, I think it's out here. Okay. So what, wait, which one is the bile duct? The little one? The bile duct's on the very outside. So what's this? And then the hepatic portal vein should be right there. Okay. So then what's this one? Bile duct right there. You got me. Do we have a mutant shark? No, see now this one's going... Oh, that's the... Um... Let me think now, linogastric? No, see, this is a celiac. I'll bet you this is a celiac artery. Celiac artery. Oh, sweet. Up into the sinus venosus of the heart. You can kind of see my probe, tip of my probe there. And then I turn downward from the sinus venosus. Oop, I just went down in again, right there. So that's where the hepatic sinus is. It's inside the liver. Where did you say this region is? Posterior cardinal sinus. Oh, okay. Ooh, look at the heart. Huh, that's awesome. Uh, that's creepy. <laughs> Now, why would you find it creepy? The renal portal vein is going to be right there. Okay. Because it was, I thought it was saying it was dorsal to the kidney or something, and so I was trying to see it. It is a little dorsal to the kidney, and you probably did right. It's just that they're not, you know, hard Can to you see. see is that now, right this there? right here, see that one where I'm pushing a little fluid through it? Oh. That's posterior cardinal vein. Okay, so posterior cardinal vein and renal portal vein? Uh, uh, renal portal vein, yeah, okay. on this side. Now, the posterior cardinal vein flows into the posterior cardinal sinus, right there. Okay. So that's posterior cardinal sinus. And then that flows into the common cardinal, which would be right here. Oh my gosh. So yeah, that was something Okay, so if that's common cardinal, then the uh, lateral abdominal vein goes into it. Okay. The posterior cardinal vein and sinus goes into it and the anterior cardinal sinus goes into it so all the cardinal sinuses and veins go into it and then it flows from the common cardinal vein into the sinus venosus there it is right here so that's into the heart okay once we're in the heart we go through sinus venosus where my probe is to atrium to ventricle to conus arteriosus and then to uh, ventral aorta. Ventral aorta then goes through um, afferent branchial arteries going out to the gills and when you skin this off right here hopefully you'll be able to see those afferent branchial, ar branchial arteries come down and then coming away from the gills is the efferent branchial arteries and they're going to come all down here and join the dorsal the aorta. Yeah, and then somewhere right up in here, you might see some branches coming off to the uh, pectoral girdle, and so that's going to be the subclavian arteries. Skin this back a little bit further, oh, uh, but these are all efferent branchial arteries, right? Okay. And then these two up here, these are the paired dorsal aortae, and if you come up f forward, See how uh, they come together right here? These vessels come together in the center. Oh, yeah? Those are the internal carotid arteries right there. Show that one, one more time. So internal carotids right there. Okay. And then we've got the uh, efferent branchial arteries coming here. 
coming into the dorsal aorta. Here's the internal carotid arteries right up in the top, the paired dorsal aorta right there, and then it should be a single dorsal aorta from there down. And now um, Bethany and uh, Nicholas and Shane have gone all the way down here and come to where the celiac trunk, celiac artery, comes off of the dorsal aorta. And so you might find that spot when you cut down into the esophagus a little more and peel that up and see if you can figure out where that comes off. But what you can't see very clearly is where the um, subclavians come yeah. off. And it just should be just down a little bit further than this. So if you can kind of keep working that way, you sure appreciate it. And then I think once you skin this, you'll see a red vessel on either side that makes up the, uh, the collecting loops going around the gill slit. And you don't have to do every one, but okay. just to get some. Oh yeah, and then here's the uh, external carotid artery right there against the jaw. Mm -hmm. And so it's coming up from right in here and up to the jaw. And then, that was the internal or external? This is the external and the internal is right there. And then uh, this is all dorsal aorta, and the first branch off is the celiac trunk. And then we've got two branches here. This one's the linogastric, goes to the spleen and the stomach. And this one's the anterior mesenteric. And then this one down here is the posterior mesenteric. Those are all arteries. Goes to the celiac. Yes, rectal and the I have to do the form.